Hi, this is Oli from Rightware. Let's take a look at the localization feature in Kanzi UI solution. This is an example project I've created here in Kanzi Studio. It represents a typical car center screen with a set of apps at the bottom, a content area, and with some room for settings on the right. Now this project is localization enabled. What that means is that as I've been building the project, I've set some of the assets and their properties as localizable. For example, if we look at the content area here, uh, instead of using fixed text labels, I'm actually referring to something called resource IDs, the content of which will be fetched from a localization table. The project screen uh, object also has a, a locale property, which is then used to toggle the actual locale that's been used at any given time. Let's go through how to define the localization data. In the library view, you'll find a localization table, which contains all the resource IDs, languages and translations for each of our locales. Right now, we only have a default value locale here, which is English. Next, we'll export and send the localization table to our translator, who will fill in the file with the correct translations for the particular locale. Once they've uh, sent us the completed file, we can import the translations back into the localization table. The localization table is a simple resource file which contains all the properties needed for translations. And now our translator has delivered us the file with translations in Japanese, which we'll now import back into the localization table. And after importing, the localization table now contains a new locale for Japan as well as the translations for Japanese. Now, let's add some functionality into the project. The language selector here on the right is a stack layout with toggle button objects under it. I've created a toggle button template, or prefab as we call it, code language, which I'll now replicate under the stack layout. So now we've got a new language selection there. Now let's add the language name, add the correct translation, and there you go. And now we have Japanese as a language option. All we need to do now is add the functionality to control the locale setting, which I'll do by adding a trigger. And there we go. Now we have a working language selector. As you can see, we can also use the localization feature to control uh, images, visual styles, font colors, which makes it quite a powerful feature for HMI design. To learn more about the localization feature, check out the Kanzi documentation, where you'll find a tutorial which also teaches you how to build language packs as well as how to programmatically control the localization with the Kanzi API. And that's the localization feature in Kanzi UI solution. Thanks for watching.